many, many teachers already use data. And it's just part of good teaching. And I think the idea that data is this new thing that you have to do is overwhelming and an add-on. And it's not really an add-on. It's very much a part of what you're already doing. So creating a um, common experience and common language for both the teachers and the students here at Sherman, we've really made a huge positive impact in the school climate. So the mindset of the school has definitely changed. Um, we kind of went into it a little bit nervous about the data and analyzing it and applying it to our everyday teaching. Um, but we definitely has, have come together as a group. Um, a lot of conversations during lunchtime are about data and it's kind of funny how we really have gone full force with it. I think that everyone is feeling empowered because the same message is getting out to everyone, so communication is very important. I think the biggest thing that's different is that we're, not that we're taking the data, it's just that we're actually using the data. That because we have such a collaborative nature and we really rely upon each other, and we have really open communication, that we're really working together and really digging deep into what the data means. Data has been so important because I think it gives you something that you can show parents. So it, it no longer is connected to, um, oh, she really likes my child or maybe she doesn't like my child, that it, it's all based in information that you get. Data has just made us much more mindful about what we want to do and accomplish. I think many times schools get very busy and bogged down with things to do and we add more and more on our plate. With the data, we are actually, you know, drilling down and looking at that targeted group of skills that we have to work on. As a reading teacher, I've been collecting student data for a long time, and now that the school is all comfortable looking at data, I think it's easier when we sit down together and we're collaborating and sharing the information to make decisions about what students need. And our conversations have changed a lot. In the beginning, we used to come to the team meetings and sort of sit down and just tell everything we knew about the child. Now we come in with the data, it's there, what interventions have been done, what levels are they reading in the math. There's, it takes the emotionality out of it. It takes the, I think this kid is, it's this kid has these things so that it's much more objective. Assessing the data that we have helps us to focus on the kids and what they need. We're able to look more at what each individual child needs and match them up with other kids that have similar needs. Being part of Sherman Elementary and actually putting all of this into effect has been amazing. Seeing the student growth, um, I would tell other schools that it's beneficial to use this um, to not only say, oh, Johnny's doing a good job reading, but also just working on specific skills and showing his growth and being able to prove that he's making these gains that you want him to make.